Hello everybody, Ghost Trick Queen here, and welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we are going to be getting the bubble helmet, uh, meaning that we just need some sunken bones. I think you can get enough sunken bones to get it uh, this early, but um, so we'll be getting that, and then also doing the uh, pond lab, hopefully. That's the goal. So yeah, um, we are going to go ahead and get over to the water. So sunken bones are found over near the entrance to the pond lab. So we are already heading in that direction anyways. I have my shovel, right? Right? Yes, I just unbinded it. And there we go. So, I believe, if memory serves, it should be right around here. It should be somewhere about here. Am I wrong? Let me check on that. Oof, yeah, no, I thought it was somewhere around here. What is the pond hatch? Is that it? Not even close. Tragic. Alright, idea time. So, you, something I just found out can remove the fog density. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's for... It's off that way. So let's go ahead and pop back up for air. Boom, hit that air bubble. Hit another air bubble, and hit another one, Let's see if we can get one. Ah, we missed it. But, we can go ahead and get this little dinosaur's toothpick. Boom, natural explorer. Of course, it doesn't help us down here, but we will go ahead and equip it, which gives us a movement speed increase, much like our aphid boots normally would. But, of course, that doesn't do anything on the water. So now we will start swimming around the bottom looking for these sunken bones. There's another one. Beautiful, as well as a chest that requires a key that we do not have. Um, oh, beautiful, there's a sunken bone that's buried in a tree root. Does that make sense? We are running low on O2. So let's return to those air bubbles and hopefully we will not die. There is no point in chasing the air bubbles as another one should spawn. Please? Why are they not spawning? Seriously? Okay, wow. The game killed me. <sighs> That's obnoxious. Um, wow. Oh, I don't have a dandelion. 
Oh yeah, look at our speed now. It's the combo, baby. Because it's about to spoil. No. Good. Okay. But then one nice thing is. Wait, yeah, what do we need to craft the bubble helmet? Super, okay. Is that our bag just swing? Uh, close up. Yeah, see, they normally spawn really consistently. But I think if you're too close to it, it doesn't. Hence why it decided to kill us. Which is very mean of it. <laughs> A cardio fan as well. And here's a muddy scale too. those bubbles. Haha, -ha, I lied. Woo! And so we should be going up to the surface. That's fine, we'll try to do the thingy. So if we take these, it will rapidly shoot us. Yes, I saw the sun come bone. No, we did not need it. Oh, I forgot we can't do those yet until we go into this part of the lab. Boom. We will be able to come back for all that. I just want to make sure that we have, you know, air and access to air first. Boom, air. Where we also have another rotten slime lantern. Taking a look around. And another picture of uh, Dr. Wendell. So he's looking a little worse. Got some wrinkles. And also Great Cabbage of Bel Belgium. Each member of the Tolly family, excepting yours truly, looks at Brussels sprouts, the Great Cabbage of Belgium, with utter disdain. Within its densely packed leaves, a high-powered nutrient boost in a miniature form factor. And yet mealtime after mealtime, it is recklessly cast aside. Well, more for me. The body knows when it's lacking something. Funny that it doesn't tell the mind why, though. But I have taken the hint, and I'll do those brilliant horticulturalists of Belgium one better. You see, these little morsels are a prime candidate for experimentation in my new submersible multifunction lab. A closed-loop system complete with retractable solar dome. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Dr. Tully, it is almost time for your appointment. Already? Uh, the joys of getting older. Trudy pushed me to go see a doctor after she remarked that I looked like a plate of wet ham. Very well. Mustn't be late and keep Dr. Applebaum waiting. What could go wrong indeed? It is kind of funny how I'm just missing some eel grass. Which there were two chests down here, so hopefully one of them have eel grass. No, that's not eel grass. There's some eel grass. Perfect. And so now we should be able to make our bubble helmet down here. No need to go back up the surface. We don't need the surface. So now 
we can run in here. And now who needs the surface? Certainly not us. That was a really cool bubble helmet that just got dropped in the floor. Yep. Um, oh, we really don't need the... The guild tube anymore. I mean, there's just no need for it. Um, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do a crime and trash it. Oh, um, that was like dumb. Because we still don't have... There we go. We'll go ahead and put that on now. And have it take place in there. Wonderful. We will set this as our respawn. And voila. So this greatly increases how long we can stay underwater for, as you will see right now. See, we now have 160 seconds of underwater goodness. And so now we, since we've also pulled the lever, we are now able to activate the three devices. Speaking of, here's one right there. Where we can spin the thingy. Let me also, rather than Natural Explorer, let's do Cardio Fan. Since, you know, uh, having uh stamina regen is actually better right now because we're constantly using stamina i'm gonna flip that i don't think yeah i don't think there's any like secrets or anything right here i do know that we would need a level two dagger for uh one of the things in there there's a milk molar in there there's also another secret that we can do. Which is super nice. Let us swim down in here. That fan used to be on in older versions, and you literally had to have uh, the flim flop, fin flops in order, to, in order to do that. And here is another uh, employee. So we will go ahead, the toxicologist, which we will go ahead and let people pause for that and pause for that. Um, we will then, I mean, I really don't care about algae. It's super easy to get. So there's the toxicology badge, which has gas and dust resist and take, as you take more damage from poison. Uh, I will then do that because there should be a picture and it wasn't letting us look at it. So, I'm gonna. There we go. Which is of that uh, Muldork castle. I wonder why. <laughs> I, I actually don't wonder why. I know exactly why, but I'm playing that I don't for you guys. Oh, it's just a normal pebblet. Yeah, see, there's the, the milk muller. Oh my god, I'm gonna drown. I wasn't paying attention. Boo -do -do -do. I can try, but there, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna make it in time. Oh yeah, there's no chance in hell. Luckily, we respawn literally right, right there, so it, it's it's not even an issue. But I was gonna tell you, where is our bag? is so up on the surface, isn't it? Oh, You know, it's fine. We'll just leave it. We have the food and stuff. Oh, wait, we also have the Rotten Bee Spear. Which is just a better spear. Huh. I mean, we don't have as many to throw, of course, but... Gonna put that there, and then we'll put the shovel 
right there. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and push that button. And boom, this is where we just were. Um, let's flash from the other side. Boom, some raw science. Well, there was a lot. Ooh, another chest with some marble shards. And more things for people to pause and read if they wish. Very nice. Now, I do know... I'm pretty sure the fish statue is somewhere in here. But I'm actually not sure of its exact location. And... Whoa. Interesting, so it doesn't actually give you clay. Come on down to real fake clay. Oh, never mind. It is real clay. It just got stuck up there. I mean, I did mine it, so I might as well pick up my reward. And there we go. And voila, we are on the other side. And now that we know his password, because apparently I used the same one for all of them. Dr. Applebaum has pronounced me in perfect health. For a man 20 years my senior, I must face the facts. The gray hairs, the wrinkles, they are not figments of the imagination. I can draw only one reasonable conclusion. It is the elusive fractional errors of the shrinking process which are the cause. Trudy has asked that I discontinue my experiments, but what choice do I have? If I quit now, I will have nothing. What will I be other than a failed inventor and scientist with no discoveries to his name, unable even to teach the basics of physics to a gaggle of hormonal teenagers? No. If this means that I must sacrifice 20 years of my life, then so be it. Poor, poor Wendell. open. I don't think this door was available. Uh, interesting. Okay. I did not realize you can actually parry those. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, perfect. We can now analyze this. Oh, okay, so we did earn another recipe. And then also for the rotten bee stinger spear. The stinger spear. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and drink some water. A good old research fair. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hand. There you go. And now we have Muscle Sprouts. Which is his super version of Russell Sprouts. In case you've not picked up what this lab was all about. And it was a way to experiment on making even better Brussels sprouts. Pretty sad, not gonna lie. This time you've gone too far, Wendell Tully. You've done the unthinkable, trespassed the unforgivable. You missed Thanksgiving dinner! For a guy who believes that his entire life is a big failure, he sure did accomplish some pretty impressive things. Not that I'm letting him off the hook for this whole getting us kidnapped trunk and then left for dead in this yard thing. Whoops, I think I just canceled the Seer Pond. course there's a bug. Oh, I'm so sorry guys. Um I will unfortunately this will just have to be a red thing. If you guys want to go ahead and pause and read it, please feel free. Um there. Yeah so it seems that the audio from the tapes don't actually play. Which is pretty stupid, but yeah, so that was that was my bad guys. And for some reason I thought I remember there being something to these. Huh, I guess not. I go crazy apparently. Statue, what uh, the no, it was a koi, koi statue. I don't know where that is in there, or if it even is in there, it might be in one of the other places. I don't recall, but that's okay. While we're here, we'll see if this opens. It does. I mean, while, while we're literally right here next to it. Oh yes, I see this is the assistant manager. Spot. Oop. Where yeah, um obviously we do not have the assistant manager key card, so that will not do us any good. So let us now go recollect our bag and then make it back home. And then we can go ahead and wrap this episode up.
where we have successfully done the the pond lab. Where, of course, we're gonna... Oh, gogs, the muscles don't stack at all. Those are really important. Uh, okay, because they don't stack even remotely. There. Whatever the feel crabs. Um... Idea. Noms. And then we will take the eelgrass. And then we will go ahead and trash the rest of this. So the bag disappears. Because we didn't really need that stuff. Um, actually. There. Okay. So the next episode we will go talk to Burgle yet again. Dang it. We will go talk to Burgle yet again. Uh and see what was on that super chip. And yeah. Um once again, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please make sure to leave a like uh and consider subscribing. Um, content is slowly getting better, I hope. Um, but yeah, uh, we've, I, as far as I'm concerned, I think I'm probably just going to drop the Minecraft Legends series because it's, it's just not all that fun of a game, if I'm honest. Um, it's, it's enjoyability kind of drops off. But, um, I did go ahead, uh, I did start a new series that should actually already be out, so this is the second grounded video that I'm recording. So yeah, the, uh, Wildermath series, um, if you are enjoying that, and, um, please make sure to, like, watch it and share it and such, and leave it a like. Uh, and if you don't know what that video is, um, we might have it in one of the corners. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I decide to do that or not. Anyways, thank you guys. Have a good one.